Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Yellow Wolf Cotter Sims here, and today I'm bringing you guys a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare map guide on the map Drift. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, or if you live in a bubble or haven't been on Twitter, basically what happened is this map is in Call of Duty Championships in, a, in the map rotation now. They took out Recovery SND and Biolab CTF and replaced um, both of those uh, maps with this map. So there's going to be CTF on this map and Search and Destroy. Now, I'm an SND star, I don't know about you guys. Guys, but um, I'm gonna be pretty much just showing SND strats on this map um, not necessarily strats but I'm gonna just show you some really cool spots places you can see the bomb and just basically discuss the map so the first thing uh, I just want to talk about really quick is how similar this map is to two separate maps there's uh, Express from Black Ops 2 and there's Solar on this game so I'll explain why right now so uh, Express obviously there's a train right here uh, I mean pretty self-explanatory but um, Let's go right over here and uh, tell me how much this reminds you of uh, where the B-bomb is, I believe, on Express. Um, how there's that little small hut, I think the uh, callout's called Art. Um, I, I don't remember my call outs too well on that game, that was a few years ago, but, um, you know, there was a lot of different huts, I mean, look at this, you know, it's just, it has a very strong vibe from Express, um, very similar, and where layout comes into play, I think this map's extremely similar to Solar, and here's why, so, um, we're gonna get into B in a little, uh, I mean A, excuse me, in a little bit. We're gonna do B first, but um, let me just explain to you how similar this is uh, to Solar. You spawn right here, exactly the fucking same way that you would on Solar. This is where uh, you'd run right into the building. This would be uh, mid-building, right? And then you'd go out and that'd lead to pool. Pool would be right around here. Um, so you would spawn right here, and if you were going to make a B push on solar, it's very similar. Uh, there'd be snipers up top, for example. You can get right up top over here, if I could actually fucking do it. There we go. Uh, you'd have snipers up here, just like you would on solar, and you'd have people pushing. There's a mid cut right here, just like there is on solar. You're pushing up. There's another cut right here. And then you try to push the bomb, and there's a few different uh, locations you can get shot from when you're planting the bomb. You have to have a very, very uh, well-executed push to put the bomb down. Um, with that being said, there's a spot that you can lay down right here in Sound Horror B if you're on defense. Uh, same thing goes for Solar. When you're in that uh, small B building, I like to call that uh, Room Baby Blue on uh, Solar. Um, you know, it's very, very similar. This map's extremely similar, and I think B Bomb is very good. If you can get B down... Uh, in my opinion, you pretty much win. Or even A, man. I, A is going to be really hard to get down. Even this, uh, it's, it's really difficult to plant. Um, but if you are able to do so, you pretty much win. And here's why. So if you put the bomb down right in this location, do not plant anywhere else because you won't have any uh, very many lines of sight. So uh, your best bet is to plant the bomb just like this. So we're going to do that really quick. And I'm going to show you a few lines of sight. So let's put this down like that. And we're going to run all the way back here towards the spawn and you can sit in this head glitch right here you're pretty much undetected from here so they can walk right the fuck by you get an easy pick and if you stand right behind here you can easily see the bomb no sweat perfect line of sight and not only that but if you go over here towards uh, the carousel um, you can jump on top of the carousel just like this and then you can get into this building right over here if you're standing up here, easy line of sight on the bomb. So you could have someone camp right here and just keep watching the flank. Uh, I mean, there's so many different possibilities. You can go check bomb, and it's a really easy pick. Um, definitely a really good uh, few spots. And there's a few nades that you can use as well if you don't really want to look at the bomb and expose yourself. Um, I don't see uh, nades on the bomb too necessary when you're defending it, uh, especially on this map. But uh, I'll show them to you anyways uh, in the nade spots video that is coming out tomorrow so that'll be there um let's uh do something really quick i, I probably should have gotten to this but i got carried away talking about the uh, similarities between solar but um check this out uh you spawn right here road close okay whenever you see this it's usually right next to the spawn if you jump up that's the other spawn right there boom so, um, what that means is there's going to be a fuck ton of spawn snipers. So, what I would recommend doing, uh, literally at the start of every round is it throwing at least one grenade across the map. 
and uh, if you do that you could probably get a spawn sniper um, that's the best way to counter that or you could just spawn snipe yourself if you're the better sniper you'll probably win and you'll be good to go so that's an easy first blood and you're pretty much all set from there um, so I pretty much gave you the rundown of B-Bomb there is definitely a lot of places here's elevators uh, can pretty much see through these uh, you can shoot this they, all this glass is breakable and uh, something else that I'm gonna tell you guys really quick this is kind of like a sneak preview these are really not windows they appear to be like that you can't like shoot through them or anything um, you 100% can uh, there's literally nothing there it appears to be glass but uh, when you throw a grenade up there or something um, nothing breaks and you can shoot right the fuck through it's I don't know why they try to make it look like glass if there's nothing there the glass doesn't break uh, as you guys can see there's like that mate glassy material up there but uh, there's still bullet holes um, up in that like vortex kind of thing so um, that, that's kind of weird but either way uh, that will definitely allow you to throw nades through there um, I'll have some crazy ass nades coming up soon uh, these things right here these are I call these like caravans or van or uh, even bus I mean it looks like a really like short bus but anyways uh, <laughs> you can uh, blow these up with about a clip or uh, I mean you can even stomp on it and it'll explode it's very similar to just like a normal car uh, that explodes so if someone's sitting back here watching flank you can definitely blow that up keep that in mind um, these are definitely uh, super highly explosive um, that leads us back to the spawn over here and we'll show you a quick uh, very very quick uh, like rundown of A um, A is in a really difficult location uh, you have to go in here, you'll probably have someone with an ASM-1. Uh, you definitely don't want to come in here with the bell, because you'll be fucked. There's a lot of sneaky corners camping behind fucking, like, these all these coats and stuff. Um, corners everywhere, kids are going to be laying down. It's going to be a real fucking disaster. Head glitches everywhere. It's, it's not good. Um, so try to avoid A at all costs. But if you are cocky enough and you are able to get A down, uh, if you come in here, you have enough fucking warriors on your team, can clear this shit out what you can do is actually plant the bomb on top of here um, and you guys have very 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 uh, insane lines of sight and you can see that shit from across the map um, honestly you could come back here and see the bomb I'll show you guys in a second actually I'll just jump off right now um, and, you'll and see another you thing man these, these there's not a lot of separation between the bombs you can get to A to B so fast and it reminds me of terrace a lot I don't really like that but uh, this map is pretty fucking broken I'll show you another example in a second but anyways yeah you can plant on top of this thing check this out put the bomb down right on top of this desk boom put the bomb down and you guys, if you didn't know this already, if you see the bomb blinking, that means that it's not being diffused. So you can go all the way back here and you can see the bomb, no sweat. Or if you really wanted to, you could go back here and you could peek it, uh, sit right on top of this like little head glitch. I, I mean, there's endless possibilities what you could do. You could send a kid up here. Uh, if you put the fucking bomb down, uh, you are pretty much all set. There, there's nothing that they can do. Um, same goes for over here. There's so many lines of sight to see the bomb. So uh, offense is really, really important on this map. Uh, uh, defending however is actually very easy it's very hard to get the bomb down but if you do uh, if you do manage to do that you you would definitely will be rewarded successfully so um, that's that as far as bomb I just want to show you a really really weird uh, spot that there is and I, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking uh, they, they obviously fucked up when they were doing this but um, there's a really weird spot. Uh, this map really is broken, uh, partially anyways. Uh, you can go down here, and then if you go slightly down a little bit, like this, you're fucked. You're completely stuck. You can't do anything. You can try to boost. You're, you're pretty much fucked. You can't get back up. There's nothing that you can do. The only thing that you can do really is try to crouch and you'll eventually fall if you spam the uh, crouch button. Um, just a really weird thing that I noticed when I was uh, fucking around on this map last night. Um, there is, is a few things like that. Um, I saw a video of Zyback. If you don't know who Zyback is, fucking SND star. Um, Zyback made a video uh a few like a month ago when this map came out and there was a really really weird spot it was like right around here or something um you'd run right over here and it'd fucking drop you right in right under the map like for no reason like just a random hole in the ground so 
Um, I don't really know what was up with that. I guess they patched it since then. So uh, just now on this map, there are a few really nice corners that you can get into, like little jump spots. Uh, for example, right over here, you can actually get on top of this ledge. You simply just jump on top of here, double jump, and move forward. It won't work exactly perfect every time, but once it does, you're pretty much all set. You can just fucking crouch, and people really won't expect you. You can watch the flank really easy, uh, especially if you uh, have teammates putting B down and you're on offense you just fucking camp right here and you're good to go uh, people really won't expect you up there and you're good and over here you also have another spot um, you can camp in these corners uh, don't be a faggot though don't abuse these spots man use them wisely use them to play the objective uh, I know a lot of people will fucking sit here the whole entire game until someone comes out at them I don't don't be like that don't be that guy um, uh, these spots I tried to show you guys are for objective purposes. If you put the bomb down and you're really making some plays. Um, the, these things right here, I don't know why, what's up with this game, but you can't shoot through anything in this game, if you guys notice that. Um, you can't shoot through these. You can't shoot through this. Um, you can't shoot through this like little building here. Um, you can't wall bang this. There, there's really nothing that you can wall bang. So uh, take your shots wisely. Don't waste ammo because you're not going to be able to wall bang anything. Um, one last thing over here that I noticed as well is that if you jump up, uh, that stuff disappears in the distance. If you notice that, uh, I don't really know why that is. I guess the fucking. I don't know if this happens on PS4, if it's Xbox One only or whatever. But uh, to me, that looks like the console is not strong enough to fucking render the graphics that far away. But if you aim down sites they magically reappear so I, I don't really know exactly what's up with that uh, this game's definitely pretty fucking weird I don't know what's up with some of this stuff um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys uh, other than that uh, I just want to say thanks uh, for everybody who came to check this video out if you did enjoy please leave a like rating I re really do appreciate that and um, stay tuned for tomorrow's nade spots and I really hope you do enjoy I'll see you guys in the next one have a good day Peace.